Hi, this is Marta. In this video, I will show the best game between Bobby Fischer and Boris Pasky that was played in their $5 million match in 1992. game was played in San Stefan in Montenegro. Where is Montenegro? Montenegro is a small country in Europe which was once part of Yugoslavia. In this game, Bobby Fischer had white pieces and he started with e4. Boris played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, Knight to c6 and Fischer goes for Rosolimo attack. g6, Fischer takes the knight and pawns are doubled. Then he castled, bishop to g7, rook to e1, idea is to support pawn push, Boris stopped that immediately. And now Fischer came up with interesting plan. This is the first move, sacrificing the pawn, pawn takes pawn, and now a3, if pawn takes pawn on a3, Bishop takes pawn and bishop would be placed on very important diagonal a3 f8. That's why Boris played c5, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and d4. So Fischer wants to blow open the center and try to catch black king before castling. Pawn takes pawn, and now bishop to b2, d6, knight takes on d4 and Boris played queen to d7 to stop knight from coming to b5. Knight to d2, now bishop to b7, knight to c4 adding more pressure on the pawn, knight to h6, black is only one move away from castling, and he's an extra, he has an extra pawn, and uh, looks like that he is doing all right. But in this position, Fischer found this incredible move. You can pause the video and try to find it, but if you don't find it, don't be sad, because this is very complicated variation. And the move is knight to f5, this is unexpected. Ok, bishop is under attack, bishop takes bishop, knight from c takes on d6, this is check, king to f8, now knight takes knight, and Boris played f6. Ok, let's take it back. What would happen if bishop takes rook? Is that better? Well, let's have a look. After the game, Fischer, Spassky and some other chess experts they had a look into this uh, variation and this is the result of analysis. Queen takes, queen takes on d6, queen takes on h8, check, king to e7, queen takes on h7, attacking the pawn on f7, rook to f8, and now queen to g7, black played queen to d2 and looks like that black is doing fine. But then Fischer found this move, queen to a1, and after queen takes knight on h6, queen takes pawn on a7 and white is winning again. Ok, so in the game if we had f6, and now knight from d to f7 attacking the rook, queens are exchanged, and now king to e7 making room for rook to escape, but Fischer takes the knight, rook takes on h8, and now again Fischer found this move which is hard to find, and it's hard to play against someone who finds move like this, knight to f5 check, sacrificing the knight. Pawn takes knight, pawn takes on f5, and now if king moves to f7, then there is check, and white is winning the bishop and one of the pawns. That's why in this position, Boris played bishop to e5, and now f4, bishop is pinned, can't move, Boris played rook to c8, attacking the pawn, pawn takes pawn, rook takes pawn on c2, and now would you take the pawn or would you push, what's better? Well, Fischer pushed the pawn, he created protected pass pawn, and now there is also a threat, rook to d7, winning the bishop. Boris thought he would solve the problem by playing bishop to c6, but there is now another problem. He has to exchange the rooks because bishop is hanging, so rook takes rook, rook takes rook, bishop is still under attack, king to d6. Ok, let's have a look at the position now. Black has bishop and two pawns. They are passed pawns. And uh, white has protected passed pawn. Ok, so let's see what happened. White has to still play well, because yeah, these two pawns can be a problem. 
This is check, king to e5, attacking the pawn. First move that comes to mind is g4. But Fischer is wasting no time. He played e7, and now black must watch this e8 square all the time. But he's got horses for courses. He played a5, hoping to get one of these pawns to the first rank and get a new queen. Rook to c1, bishop to d7, rook to c5, this is check, king to d4, and now Fischer is breathing sigh of relief, because he won one of the pawns, and now it's easier, but it's not finished until fat lady sinks, b3, and poses, pawn is very close to, close to promotion. Now, rook to a7, pawn can't be pushed, let's check, if pawn is pushed, then rook takes on d7, and after king to c3, rook to b7, and it doesn't work. Okay, that's why after rook to a7 was played, Boris played bishop to e8, and now rook to b7, attacking the pawn, and king to c3. Let's have a look at this position again. Okay, you can pause if you want uh, this video and try to make a plan for white. What would you play, what would be your plan, if you had white pieces in this position? Okay, so this is the plan that Fischer had. He is going to sacrifice rook for the pawn, when pawn reaches b1. His king is going to march to the 8th rank, he is going to win the bishop, capture the pawn on f6, and promote f pawn to queen. Let's see how it works in real life. King to f2, b2, king to e3, and now bishop to f7, g4. And this is what was on the mind of Boris. He wanted to play bishop to b3. Okay, let's check what will happen if bishop was played to b3, now pawn can be promoted. But white promotes first, then black promotes his pawn to queen, and now we have check, king to b2, rook takes, king takes, check, king to c2, queen takes, king takes, g5, pawn takes pawn, and f pawn is a marching. Okay, so it didn't work. So in this position, instead of playing bishop to b3, black played king to c2, now king to d4, black gets the queen, rook takes, king takes, now king to c5, king to c2, king to d6, king to, to d3, wasn't played. Black resigned in this position. But let's check what would happen if they continued playing. So it's possible to play king to d3 here, king to d7, king to e4, white gets the queen, bishop takes, king takes, now king to f4, attacking the pawn, h3, king to g5, and now king to f7, h6, king to e6, and black is in Zagzwang. He must play king to f4, and after that white takes the pawn, and f-pawn is marching. So Boris saw all this, and at move 41 he resigned. This was very interesting endgame. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it.